And we want to get you up to date right away on the breaking news that we are following. Uh, we are talking about the murder of little John Swoveland Jr. Several suspects now facing charges in his death. Police say children helped them find and identify eight people involved in that shooting. The little boy was hit by a stray bullet last Wednesday playing at a relative's house on Campo Street. WSBT's Kelly Stotsinski is live at Metro Homicide. Kelly, seven of the eight facing charges are teenagers. Two of them, Cindy, as young as 15. Take a look at them right now. All eight of these young men being charged as adults, two with murder, five facing charges for assisting a criminal, and five facing gang charges. Police are still looking for 19-year-old Robert Griffin and 23-year-old Xavier Prim. According to court documents, this all started when two rival gangs met up at Coquillard Park last Wednesday for a fight. Things escalated. People pulled out guns and started shooting. Court documents say a bullet from one of those guns, a revolver, traveled three blocks before it hit John Swoveland Jr. Several children between 11 and 13 years old playing in the park when it happened. And police say even though they were terrified, those little kids came forward and helped positively identify some of the gang members allegedly involved in this shooting. Detectives say they shared news of these charges with little John Swoveland's family this afternoon. Obviously, the family taking this as bittersweet news. They are still devastated over the loss of that little boy, but police say they are happy that justice is just a little bit closer. Cindy. Okay, Kelly, uh, eight guys, gangs, uh, do we know which gangs, uh, and boy, the, is this a problem in the city now? Are police willing to talk about that? According to the uh, court documents, it's called the West Side Gang was one of them. The other one was the East Side or Evil Side Gang was the name of it. And I asked South Bend Police Chief Ron Teachman that question. He told me they're referring to them as groups rather than gangs. He says that these organizations here are much more loosely identified. They're much more loosely organized than what we consider a gang on the national level, Cindy. But Kelly, five of these guys are being charged with gang enhancement. Uh, they can get double the prison time because of that, so it's a gang. Right, and, and that's what prosecutors are saying, that they have to meet certain criteria in order for these gang charges, gang enhancement charges to be filed. And I asked the police chief, you know, what is this? Is this a case of semantics? And he, he, he kind of danced around the question, but said that they right now are referring to them as groups rather than gangs, and that's the strategy that they're using. They want people to know they are trying to fight the what the police are calling a group problem in our area, but he won't call it a gang problem, Cindy. Okay, all right. Kelly Stopsinski, live in South Bend. Thanks very much. Happening.